Welcome to another edition of the Eric Waite Whiskey Studies. In this video, I'm going to be reviewing the Ardbeg and Oa. Uh, I actually bought this bottle uh, a while back when it was first released, but I was in the middle of wine studies, so I bought it with the idea that I would finish my wine studies and then get into this whiskey, and it sort of hid behind other bottles on the shelf, and I completely uh, forgot about it. So I, I realized, hey, wait a minute. I haven't done uh, the Ardbeg and Owa. I've tasted it a number of different times. I've tasted it at the uh, distillery uh, when I visited uh, on Isla, um, but I I'm finally getting into this bottle. Now, I did uh, a neck pour already, and I've got a little bit below the shoulder, and I'm finding that I really, really like this whiskey. But before I get into this, here are my notes on uh, the name and Owa and this whiskey. Ardbeg's and Oa is named after the Mole of Oa in the southwest of Isla, which offers the Cadalton coast, where Ardbeg Distillery is situated, some protection from the worst the Atlantic has to offer. As such, an Oa is intended to show a more approachable side of Ardbeg single malt that's as rounded as the Oa Peninsula, without losing the characteristic distillery style. In the summer of 2017, this became the first edition to Ardbeg's core range in over a decade. Maturation took place in a combination of casks including Pedro Jimenez, charred virgin oak, and ex-bourbon, which were all brought together. It is bottled at 46.6% alcohol by volume. Alrighty, let's get into it. So it is sweet and very much sort of um, candy-esque on the, on the nose. Loads of chocolate. I'm getting the uh, salty sea breeze. Um, a lot of rich chocolate covered raisins. Um, plums. Almost like blackberry preserves. A little bit of tree fruit. Um, some, some tropical notes to it as well. So maybe some peach and pear, uh, but then some tropical notes. But the biggest thing is this nose full of chocolate. It's really, really rich on the nose. Um, it's at 46.6% alcohol by volume, but there's like no tingling sensation whatsoever. Um, and the peat is very much, in comparison to other art bags, um, the peat is very much uh, reduced. It's only sort of a medium, medium minus intensity on the peat. But of course, in non-peated whiskeys, it would seem, you know, intensely peat, but it's not. All right, on the palate. Mm. It is sweet. Definitely the sweetest, most approachable whiskeys in the Art Bag lineup. Really, really delicious. Mmm. Some people haven't been real big on this Anoa, on this whiskey in the Ardbeg lineup. I really, really like it, and I think it definitely has an important place in the core range of Ardbeg. Um, when you're producing wines, you, in a winery, typically in the lineup, you'll have a core range. You gotta put in some variety, some big tannic reds, like a Cabernet Sauvignon, a lighter red, maybe like a Merlot, an even lighter red, like a Pinot Noir, and then you gotta have a white. So here in California, Chardonnay is ubiquitous. Maybe a lighter white, like a Sauvignon Blanc, and then for those who have a sweet tooth, you gotta make a, a sweet wine. So they'll make port styled wines, they'll make a late harvest wines, or they'll do like a wine that's similar to a Sauterne, or maybe an ice wine or something like that. And I think this fits that category. It's something that won't um, necessarily meet every palate, but for those who maybe, maybe they're new to peated whiskeys or they do tend towards uh, uh, sweeter whiskeys, maybe they like um, sherried, heavily sherried whiskeys uh, from the Highlands and they're just sort of getting into peat. This is an excellent transition from um, the sort of big peat bombs, or excuse me, big sherry bombs uh, of the Highlands and Speyside and getting something with a little more peat to it. Mm. I like it for an after dinner whiskey when you're just in the mood for something a little sweet, something for dessert, 
where maybe you're not gonna have chocolate per se or ice cream or something like that, but a nice slightly sweet whiskey will really uh, hit, hit the spot. I really like this. I'm gonna give this a solid 90 points, but I also know this is a whiskey that's not going to please everyone, but it definitely has its place and its occasions. All right, uh, if you subscribe to this channel, I wanna thank you very much. If you haven't yet subscribed, but you like watching my whiskey studies, I would really appreciate it if you would subscribe and hit the thumbs up down below and share this with your friends in uh, Facebook, Twitter, and other social networking channels. And until next time, Cheers. Hey, if you like my review, be sure to check out these other whiskey videos.